I got the little bites, and I got these Takis, bro, and some Gatorade, bro. Let's go, bro. It, it, it's like that, son. You can't even give me no camera time, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. Excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. Sophomore. Sophomore.
situations getting after the dang quarterback. They're 65% pass, they're 90% pass on third down. All right, win first and second down by smashing them, being the most physical team, get them in the third down, we can beat them and boss them, get after the quarterback all night long. All right, gotta get off the field on third down. I told y'all uh, yesterday and today, all right, we want less than 50 yards rushing, less than 100 yards, less, less than 100 yards passing, a bunch of turnovers, a bunch of sacks, a bunch of picks, some defensive scores. All right, that's fun. And it starts with us on defense. Y'all know I tell you every week it starts with what? Effort and attitude. Don't let them think for a second, Deuce, why? Don't let them think for a second that they play as hard as you do. All right, play with a nasty, violent, aggressive, physical, mean attitude. When you hit them, make them feel it. Don't dive at their legs. 
That gives them a chance to go score. Stay on your feet and run through them. Club up through their rib cage. Keep your eyes up. Head here, like Coach Hall talks about all the time. All right, be nasty. I promise you, if you play this game and you don't take a single playoff melee, all right, and you play with a nasty, violent, aggressive attitude, all right, flip that switch, it'll be a fun night. I, I, I try to tell y'all every week, I don't know how you can practice all week long and then get here on Friday night and not be loose and go play your tail off. If you got any nervousness, if you got any worry, if there's anything you've been thinking about, let me do all that. Let Coach Hall and our coaching staff do that. Y'all loosen up and go play. And play your tail off and have fun. And the way you have fun on defense is you beat the piss out of somebody. Like, don't give them an itch, all right, from the very First play, start beating the piss out of them and do it for four quarters. And it'll be fun. We'll have a great night. You know what's the most special thing about coaches? Is you get to do this every, every you get to do this every Friday night during football season. You get to make build relationships with the coaches you coach with, the guys that you get to coach. I walk out there and I see I, I see guys standing out there that I coached 17 years ago. Standing on our side, that I coached, that drove two two and a half hours to watch you play, because they see themselves where you are now, 15 years ago. So right now, there's a guy out there I coached 17 years ago who's going to live through you tonight, and think about the times that he was playing. In your shoes right now. You know, that's what's special about coaching. Getting to see those things. Getting to be around y'all all the time. Every single day. And you know, I may get mad at you. I may yell at you. I may scream at you. But I love every single one of you. I want you to be the best you can be. And that's why I yell and scream at you and get up. Alright? This is what I want you to do now. Go out. Make memories that's going to last you a lifetime tonight. I can still remember my homecoming game. I can still remember to this day, I can remember playing in my homecoming game my senior year. Most amazing, one of the greatest games I've ever played. My head coach, my head coach from high school is standing out there right now on our sideline. You know what he told me? I said, when we, before we started the year, we was playing a team that we had never beat. And I said, Coach, why are we playing them for homecoming? You know what he told me? You better beat them, or your damn homecoming's going to be missed. <laughs> you know what we did? We beat them. Seven to three. Seven to three. One of the, one of the best, best games I've ever had. I had 28 Packers in that game. Because he picked up their signals and we knew who was getting the ball. That's why. Because <laughs> he was that good. Because he was that good of a coach. But I didn't care. It didn't matter to me. I still had those 28 tackles with a defense player of the week. Right. Every single play, play like it's your last. Every play. Every single snap, play like it's your last. Because you never know. I'm telling you guys, love this game. Love the guys you're playing with. Love the coaches that's coaching. All right? Let's go out and have a blast. Listen. <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
to number 81, Griffin McLean. Stop made by 20.
is the final play of the ball game. With the score, Auburn High 14, Percy Green 13. This is the gauntlet right here. Starts this week, this next week. All right. We got the number one team in 5A. We got, uh, and then we got two top five teams in 7A coming up in the next three games. All right. So let's let's go go get ready to work. You got it? Yes, sir. All right. We got to get better every single day. Every single day. Saw some great stuff out here tonight. You know, enjoy the homecoming win. Enjoy it with, with your family and stuff. Uh, Make sure you say hey to them going out. Let's don't stay out here too long though. We get back over to school. Right. Listen, when we get back over to school, they got they got a meal for y'all. So when y'all get over there, uh, I think Trey's daddy, uh, Trey Marks' daddy, cooks y'all some uh, cook, cook y'all some stuff over there. So grab it. Make sure hey, make sure y'all say thank you, Miss Webb. Make sure y'all appreciate say thank you to all the people that are over there feeding you. Okay. All right. Hey. Great job, great win. Coaches, y'all got your thing? Good, All right, break it down. Let's go. Break it down right here. Let's go, baby. Hey, get better on me. Get better on me. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.